that right there is a single phase transformer feeding power over to that house. Do you want to know how you can tell that's only single phase? So I've made a big deal in a lot of my videos that there's only single phase in American homes. So we don't have two phase, we don't have three phase. And a lot of people don't believe me. They say we have A phase, B phase in there. There's two hot wires, there's two phases, um, all that kind of stuff. So I am a residential electrician. I am not a lineman. I am not a heavy duty industrial guy. I mean, I've done it, but I wouldn't call that where that's where my expertise is. So do you want to know how me, a residential guy, looks up at a service and can tell you if it's single phase or three phase, or if there's three phase even available in that neighborhood? I can show you what I think I'm looking at, but you know, some linemen in the uh, linemen or heavy duty industrial guys might say where I'm wrong or have things to add, but I'll show you how I look at it. All right, so I'm in the car now just because the traffic was so loud. You see the three wires on top? Those are the primaries. Each one of those is a phase. That's A phase, B phase, C phase. I don't know the voltage, 7,000 maybe, right? But we only put 240 into a house. So before we put any of that high voltage right there down into a home, we have to step it down in a transformer. So there's the transformer their utility is using to step it down. Can you tell in that picture how many phases they tapped off of? They tapped off of only the far left phase. And then it goes from there, and then it's a three-wire triplex that goes off to the house. So that is being fed off of only one phase. That's why it's called single phase. The transformer only taps onto one phase. If it was three phase, it would tap onto all three. Let's go see if we can find an example of that. I'll drive up the road a bit. So I found this example before I found the three phase example. Look at the primaries here. This is a residential neighborhood. Okay, I'm on his lawn, he's gonna think I'm crazy. This is a residential neighborhood, okay? The utility company has only even brought one phase into the neighborhood. No buildings in this neighborhood could have the option of three phase, even if they wanted it. See that? There's only one phase for the primary to even tap onto ever. So they tap off there, they hit that single phase transformer and come down with the Edison circuit type triplex off to the, all the homes. But there's still only one phase available. That is a three phase transformer. Can you see how they tapped off each phase as a tap down to the transformer? So that's three phase power. Over here, this is to the fire department. Um, they brought the phases, the primaries, underground. So there's a transformer somewhere over in that facility that's set on the ground on a pedestal or something like that. But that would be three-phase going off into that building as well. But yeah, three-phase power. One, two, three phases tapped. When only one phase is tapped, it's single phase. Hey, another quick example of only one phase being available. I thought that was a good visual right there they left the, the crossbar in but only had one phase to tap off of one primary phase and that goes off to whoops that goes off to these homes no all right cool so i almost never talk about three phases in my videos because i'm i figure i'm gonna put my foot in my mouth and uh commenters will let me know so hopefully those two three phase examples i didn't uh, mislead you guys if i did i will uh edit this video or post it in the comments or something but uh, I was in a different neighborhood where I wanted to show an example of something I ran into because it's a real world example. Let me give you a, a peek. So here we go. My friend owns those buildings and he wanted to do growing of a special type inside those buildings. Indoor gardening we'll call it. And that takes a lot of power. But now that you know what you're looking at, there's only single phase available for that building. And uh, single phase is not very efficient for heavy duty loads. So we researched with the power company about what would it take to get three phase to the building. And if you can look, hopefully it shows up on camera. See that T, that crossbar? That's the closest three phase available to this building. And the power company gave us an estimate. It's still in the process of if this is the route we're gonna go or if we're just gonna, if he's just gonna use the single phase. But $85,000 was the estimate to extend the single phase, it's roughly a quarter mile to extend the three phase, I mean, from here to that building. $85,000 was the estimate. All right, so there you go, this real world example where the person looking at purchasing the property or if you were thinking about going here to do something, you'd be able to tell now by looking whether or not three phases is even available on the property. So one of my most controversial 
ideas that I know that a lot of engineers and electricians think I'm crazy for saying. The two hot wires in your house are not out of phase. They are in phase with the reverse polarity. And I know that's nobody believes me or a lot of people, not nobody, but a lot of people disagree with that. But now think about it this way. We're tapping off one phase, hitting a transformer, and sending two wires off of that one phase, but step down voltage off of one phase. Now some people tell me those two one wires that we call legs, those two individual wires tapped off the same phase through a step down transformer are out of phase or the opposite reverse polarity ends of the same winding fed from the same phase. I think it might just be semantics, but it makes so much more sense to me with the way electricity works that those two ends are in phase reverse polarity versus 180 degrees out of phase. But I'm planning on trying to make the video to prove that to people someday. I'm working on it. I, got, I, need, I think I need animation for that video. That's what I'm stuck on, how to visually represent what I'm trying to say. All right, thanks.